So today we're going to talk about the problems with attempting to prevent a heart attack. Now, the worst thing you want to run into is finding out the solution to your preventing a heart problem is causing a heart problem. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say you have hypertension and you're on a diuretic. Well, the side effect of diuretics is increasing insulin resistance, which actually could potentially increase your insulin and create more of a problem within your arteries. Let's say, for example, you're on cholesterol medication, you're on a statin. Statin increases the risk of calcification in your arteries. Plus, it shuts down the testosterone, and it can decrease coenzyme Q10, which is needed for the heart. And here's another one. Let's say you're on some anti-clotting um, medication to thin the blood, warfarin, which blocks vitamin K. The problem with that one is that it causes some side effects, one being increasing risk of calcification, not just in the arteries, but systemically, even in your trachea, because it blocks vitamin K, K1 and K2. And just so you know, vitamin K2 is all about keeping the calcium out of the arteries, out of the soft tissues, and into the bone. The longer you're on this medication, the greater the risk of the calcium clogging everything up on the arteries. Now, out of all these problems, the most important thing to focus on is making sure you do not build up calcium plaque in the arteries. Why? Because the amount of calcium in your arteries, specifically the coronary artery, is the biggest risk factor for mortality from heart attacks. And this is why one of the most important tests that you can get, way more important than a cholesterol test, is a CAC test, coronary artery calcification test. Not that expensive, not that invasive, pretty quick, but it can give you a lot of information of what's going on inside your arteries. The test score should be zero, but it can go over a thousand. So let's say, for example, you find out you have a high score. There's high amounts of calcium placking in your arteries. Well, there is a good solution to that that's actually pretty natural, that has actually no side effects, and it's taking vitamin K2. If you're not familiar with vitamin K2, I put a link down below, but it's a very, very important vitamin that can potentially remove the calcium from your arteries. And the type you'd want to take is an MK7 version between 200 and 300 micrograms every single day. There's some great data. Now what are you going to do if you're on warfarin and your doctor is insisting that you stay on warfarin? Well, what I would recommend is getting with your doctor and seeing if there's another medication that you could take that will do the same thing but still allow you to consume vitamin K2. And if that didn't work, I would negotiate with your doctor and see if you could actually take vitamin K2 and take a little bit more of this medication so at least you would have absorption of vitamin K2 to prevent the calcification of your arteries. Now, what are you going to do if you're in a diuretic and you're trying to lower hypertension? Now, just so you know, I'm not recommending you come off any of your medications. That's between you and your doctor. I would research taking 40,000 IUs of vitamin D3, and I would also increase my potassium levels because our bodies need about 4,700, and most people don't even get close. And to do that, you'd need to consume 7 to 10 cups of vegetables per day, and that would greatly help you with this. Now, as far as cholesterol goes, very simply, you need to get on a healthy keto diet and intermittent fasting, and that usually should take care of that. If you're new to my channel, I put a link down below. Check it out. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.